Good evening, uh, the Western Pacific, uh, Japan, and uh, back in the United States. It's currently approximately uh, 6 o'clock in the evening here, very early back in the U.S., and it's the uh, 16th of July. We're going to talk about uh, Zero Three Whiskey, or Typhoon Kansan, as well as uh, get into some uh, weather throughout the rest of the Western Pacific. But first, we're going to pull up a satellite picture for uh, Kansan here and break it down a little bit more here. Now, uh, Tropical Storm Kansan is uh, currently moving to the northwest at approximately uh, 10 knots. Now, uh, max winds uh, based on a 2-minute average are uh, 75 knots gusting up towards uh, 90 knots. Now, uh, this is a uh, re-intensification over the past uh, about 12 to 24 hours of this storm. It uh, wasn't forecast, we know, but we also didn't forecast the uh, trough of low pressure moving just to the north of the storm as well. I'll break that down a little bit further into this. Uh, center of location is actually based on uh, microwave imagery uh, where an eye is actually being uh, developed right now. I'll show to you. Now this is a 85 gigahertz microwave imagery indicating the uh, center of circulation of this eye. Also showing the uh, most of the deep convection, uh, convection is uh, located in the uh, southern semicircle of this, uh, uh, this typhoon. That's what it is displaying to us is that there is still uh, the shear prevalent, actually about the 20 to 30 knots, but this combined with uh, high sea surface temperatures and uh, divergence loft is sustaining the system. It's still at a uh, category 1 equivalent of a uh, hurricane. Also, uh, the good thing about microwave imagery is uh, locating these uh, eye features as well. You can peer through the uh, high spirits aloft, unlike uh, visible and IR imagery, you can't see through that. So a very good tool to use if you're uh, looking for center of circulation. Okay, back to the IR imagery here. Uh, good and bad news for the island of Hainan. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, see how it's spelled, H-A-I-N-A-N. Uh, that the uh, mountains rate in this area about five to six thousand feet. That's the bad news. Uh, rain showers uh, enhanced by ore graft lifting is just basically going to rain out into these uh, valleys and uh, cause a uh, widespread flooding. The good news is that the uh, center of circulation is going to drift just to the south of uh, Hainan and uh, move out into the uh, Gulf of Tonkin, which is located right here. Island of Hainan is right here is actually part of uh, China. And then uh, the bad news as well is that um, the city of Hanoi, right, located in here, uh, Hanoi, Vietnam, is probably going to get a stronger storm than originally uh, predicted and uh, forecasted because we were originally forecasting the uh, typhoon to run straight over the island here and uh, dissipate uh, much so over those mountains. Uh, the good news though as well though is uh, a lot of the uh, convection to the north end of the storm is going to um, allow this uh, storm to break up a little bit and hopefully some drier advection will flow into it as soon as that storm starts to break up and actually in the last few sat shots you can start to see that happening. Uh, the rain bands to the northern end of the storm are starting to weaken as well but you can see this dry slot over the Gulf of Tonkin right in there. Now that hopefully that uh, infiltrates the uh, system and starts to weaken it. So here's the official forecast of warning number 20 from uh, JTWC, the uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Center, taking uh, 03 Whiskey just to the south of Hainan and back into the Gulf of Tonkin, making landfall in the vicinity of Hanoi. Good news for Hanoi is that it is uh, inland, a little information on her. It's the second largest city in Vietnam. It is the uh, capital of the uh, country with about 6.5 million people in there. So kind of an uh, important situation to watch. But a good thing, though, is, is it is upriver. Um, storm surge shouldn't affect it too much except in the uh, low-lying areas near the river. And uh, the biggest concern probably is going to be out of this is uh, rainfall. So a very... Uh, very uh, close situation to watch, if, especially in a low-lying areas with the, uh, the rainfall coming out of this system as it gets into the uh, main M area. Now what I want to talk about is uh, the re-intensification of uh, Kansan. Now originally uh, forecasted, uh, Kansan was going to remain under about 30 to 35 knots of wind shear and uh, gradually dissipate, and that did not happen. That was basically because we originally forecasted this ridge to uh, remain aloft over the system, uh, causing about this, uh, this high wind shear. Now that the uh, trough in the mid to uh, upper levels has formed up over uh, northern China here, and uh, low pressure just formed north, it's actually reduced uh, the... Um, wind shear all the way down here as well down to about 20 to 25 knots now what this has caused though is uh, the system to uh, slightly uh, intensify uh, we know that inten great intensification would occur under 15 knots now if the system was under 5 to 10 knots I would have expected a very very strong typhoon of it especially since it's maintaining a strength and even getting uh, stronger within this 20 to 25 knots now we're gonna move on to the actual wind shear analysis now 
Now showing the actual analysis, showing that uh, 20 knots of wind shear actually uh, increasing up to 30 knots as this system is going to move uh, to the west. Uh, it's going to increase even more though as it moves in over the land in Vietnam. So as it rains out, the wind shear is really going to knock this over and I would expect it to um, dissipate rather quickly as it, after it makes landfall. That's all for the update on uh, Zero Three Whiskey. What I do want to talk about is uh, moving on to the rest of the Western Pacific here. Uh, the rainy season over Japan looks like it's starting to come to an end as the uh, Western Pacific high pressure starts to build in and move over Honshu. This is going to lift that stationary front over the uh, Japan over the last couple weeks to the uh, north. This is going to end those uh, hot and humid days and the uh, constant rain that lasts several days throughout much of the country. Uh, the bad news with this uh, high pressure moving just to the north is that it's going to allow for more recurvature of typhoons when they do form uh, down near the Philippines and Palau. Uh, the, the high pressure lifting north is uh, going to allow basically for those uh, storms to run around it. So uh, bad news for uh, southern Japan all the way up even up to the uh, to Tokyo and the uh, Kanto Plain. So that's all for my update for today. I uh, hope everybody has a great weekend. And uh, to note, though, this is going to be one of my last video blogs. might have one more in the next several days, but uh, that's all. If you are following me on YouTube, I know i got some uh, viewers out this way on here, uh, you can find me at liveweatherblogs.com. Just look me up there. I'm going to have some written updates over the next month or so. so uh, it, and then hopefully after that I'll get back into this. So uh, that's all for now. Have a great weekend, guys, and um, bye.